Ohaneze youth have given two weeks' notice to all killer headsmen in Igbo land to quit the forest and bushes in the area or being ejected by fire. Speaking through the national youth leader, Chief Otto Obiora, the youth said, The bushes and forests belong to the people and must no longer harbor killer headsmen. Chief Obiora warned the Maeti Ala group to stop making statements that can cause crisis in the country. He gave the illegal occupants of all bushes and forests in Igbo land two weeks to quit from the area or be ejected by fire. He also announced the group in collaboration with other youth sh stakeholders in Igbo land will be, disturbing, will be distributing COVID-19 pandemic palliative to Igbo youth. To support this initiative. Igbo youth are now endangered species and we have deemed it fit to rescue them, Mr. Obiora said. According to him, Baristan Neamwodo, the President General of Ohanese and Igbo, worldwide would flag off the program in concert with other chieftains of Ohanese and Igbo. Meanwhile, the spokesman of Ohanese and Igbo worldwide, Hughes Ibegu, has lauded the palliative planned by the youth wing of the body and congratulated the youth leader of the body. <laughs> ah, B, this one is worthwhile. It's worthwhile. All this while in this country, Nigeria, what we have been hearing is crisis in this, crisis in that, tara, uh, uh, killing of people, bandits this, bandits that, and high level of insecurity that is ongoing in the country now. But all thanks to this Ohanese and Igbo youth that want to secure Igbo land, that want to secure I the southeastern part of Nigeria for Igbo people. I want to save them ahead of time from this uh, uh, so all, all this crisis that is going on. For instance, now if you look at a uh, uh, Castena crisis, that they have been complaining, agitating that the people are dying and nothing is being done it, but, uh, done about it by the government, federal government and the state government. And now people want to go into self defense. Now it's almost late because so many people have lost life. So many people have lost their loved ones. So many people have lost their lost their properties. So even if they swing into action now, it might prevent further occurrence. But what about the people that has died? You see? But this Ohane is a youth, Ohane is a Ndibo youth that want to start saving the, the, the southeastern part of Nigeria ahead of time. It's better off. Because it's from all this uh, 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 headsman killer hiding in the bushes. It's from there that they, they, they form a dangerous group and start and terrorizing people in, the, in, in a particular region. So this particular Ohanes uh, Ndibo uh, now, I, 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 I give them a thumbs up. Because it says a stitch in, nine, a stitch in time saves nine. By so doing now, you can see that these people will avert all this uh, uh, nasty occurrence. They will not allow it to happen. How can people be dying unjustly and nothing is being doing about it? As you mean, this Ohanes and Dibo now, leave it for Nigerian government to handle this situation. My dear, they will be there and the killing will commence. People will start dying and government will not do anything, anything very effective about it. So it's better that they, 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 have, they have seen this ahead of time and they are working towards it. You see, this, this, this kind of thing is not something that should be taken lightly. Okay, now, the Maeti and Lali that have given a statement the other day saying that uh, Nigeria belongs to the Fulanis and the Fulani will, will rule this country forever. Okay, as you mean, this is assertion is true. And now, the, the Fulani has men, the Fulani has terrorists are invading all the southeastern eastern region. Some are being smuggled under, under uh, trailers of cement. Some are smuggled uh, under uh, uh, trailers of food. Even while the pandemic uh, uh, interstate movement is still banned. But these people are, they are invading so many communities, so many societies, so many states. Now, it's, 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 it's now that the Ohanese Indibo people have seen this, I want to, I want to, I want to avert it on time. 
I think it's a good and a welcomed a development from them. Because nobody will do it for them. Oh. Nobody will do it for them at all. The other day it was published that uh, the, the, the youths of uh, Castena State, that they are bitterly protesting of the high level of insecurity, repeated killings by the bandits. And they are crying out because according to the report, they said that President Muhammad Buhari Muhammad Buhari is is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is 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 from their state, and all these things are happening. That he has failed them, he has failed them times without number, and even the government of the state have failed them. That nothing is being done about this, and so the youth were on the street, protesting bitterly, agitating for 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 security in their state. And nothing was done about it. Or little was done about it. Okay, now, as you mean, since Buhari, being a, 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 an indigenous of Castina State, could not protect his own people, what do you think will happen when the same attack is melted on the, on the, on the southeast? Since he cannot protect his people, what will happen when it happens to the southeast, eastern region of the, of the, of the country? So it's better... It's very, very okay. The way Ohaneze Ndibu is going about it is the best measure they could have taken. Because prevention is better than cure. Oh yes. When these things will start happening now, you keep calling on government to, to, to avert it, to, to, to stop it. It's, it's easier to stop it before it starts than to stop it when it has already started. So I just I just wish that uh, these people, the killer Fulani headsmen in the bushes of the eastern region, I just I just wish that they will comply with this uh, with this notification. Uh, uh, some people are saying a lot of things about this already. So many people are saying uh, 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 that the two weeks is even too much. So I'm saying two weeks. Uh, uh, how, what do you mean by two weeks? But me, that two weeks. It's just to justify that they were properly notified. If they really want to leave, they have complete two weeks to leave on their own. And that would be better. It will call for, 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 for peace. At least people in their own hometown, in their state, will live a peaceful and a more secured life. Than uh, all, all this kind of terror melted on people. You cannot even go to your farm freely. Because you don't know who will come out from the bush and attack. You cannot even, even manage, manage what you have properly. Because you don't know the next move of the, of the, of the killer headsmen. A lot of, they, have, they have done a lot of damage to people in recent times. They have killed them a lot in recent times. Even to the extent of raping poor women that are going to their farms. So this is the kind of thing that should be looked into. And all thanks to this uh, 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 youth that want to deal with this once and for all, even without the help of the, of the federal government. Let's see what people are saying about this. Um, somebody said two weeks, too much. Oh, they should start now to ensure proper security. <laughs> And another person says, um, thumbs up to the Ohanes and Debo for this. Nobody could have done this better than them. Uh, somebody is saying here, and the Igbo, Igbo people, in uh, these people you are calling killers are just farmers and herdsmen. So if they are leaving your region, Igbo people in the north should also leave the bush. We are not talking about living region here. We are talking about people that are killing other people. Innocent people for that matter. Um, another person said, I don't know that Ohaneze Ndibo is this active. Thanks for job well done. I just pray they will follow this up to the end. Of course they will. And uh, some other person say, mm, finally, the southeastern people are waking up to the realities 
of Nigeria. The earlier, the better. Insecurity is not the best for the country at the moment. Thank you for your for for all. Okay. Well, these are the some of the comments people are melting about this. We would like to hear your own in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.